how are you? I am doing fantastic. I don't know why. I think it might be because we are playing with a green palette today. I'm so excited. I love green. Obviously, if you don't know, I've probably posted like three looks by now. The green? I don't know. I can't remember. But I've done a few green looks. But we have... I can't even i'm so excited so i ordered this before i ordered the midnight one but i ordered this and it took a little while so i came and paid for that like one year next day delivery or something i think it was and that's why the midnight one came at first but i got my hands on it so i love green i hate red i hate red and green palettes always have bloody red in them but this one wasn't too bad so this is the palette but yeah i have done a few swatches of these because i got way too excited and i wanted to see how pretty they were but i will show you literally my favorite shades what i haven't even swatched because i was like waiting to be like good okay so we're going with four i've gone in with two mattes and two shimmers so starting off with we have gone in with ray seahorse ivy lime as per usual, these are a 42 pan colour palette and like can you even, like what is your favourite shade, like genuinely? Because I don't think I can pick, you know, because I'm literally shocked. I don't even know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I want to do something really glam. I really want to do it glam and matte and like all that jazz. And we also got in it, because for some reason I got like a free goodie i don't know why maybe because i wait forever i don't know um i got like a free goodie in it so we did get the brow uh the brush up brows and as you know me i love the anastasia one but you know she a little pricey so any any brow gel products would be great but yeah we're definitely gonna try this out and then we're gonna do the eyes and that so i think i'm gonna put this on first so then I can fill in my brows afterwards and all that. Now, so we're gonna go in with this beauty. So, so it is brow soap, so it's not as like creamy as like the Anastasia one. But you know, we'll see what she does because I'm so picky when it comes to my brows. Ooh, okay. I literally hate for when I have to do too much to my brows. So I don't think that makes it less effort it's perfect okay well they are definitely staying up there you can see that i'm just gonna brush them out with my like finger just kind of like flatten them down and then i'm just gonna take it because my front ones are a little bit longer than my side ones maybe i'm gonna just take her and kind of give me a shape i do have a really weird shape for out there they're definitely up like they're looking patchy af that is why but yes i'm gonna be back now <laughs> i'm gonna be right back with my eye base on so we can carry on the video okay so i'm like so mad at myself because your girl started recording and then it crashed and i did not notice so i did my whole eye and was so amazed and i didn't get it all on camera so you're gonna have to see me recreate my emotions uh for this look <laughs> so i'm really sorry about that but um i did my brows we went in with the pink honey and wonder whip um because it caught me up halfway saying that so that's fun and we went in the with the p louise base in shade one so the palette i'm obviously impressed like you see what i create i'm obsessed with it it's not the finished look though so but anyway, we're going to start again. <laughs> um, so fun. I love doing this. So I have zoomed you in, which is probably crushed. But, you know, we're zoomed in. This is the look. I think she turned out hella cute. Definitely what I wanted. But yeah, so we're going to go in and create this eye. So firstly, we went in with the Morphe X Jacqueline Hill brush in JH. 39 which is like a little tiny top brush so cute i love these and we're gonna go in with shade seaweed which is this one down here a little c shape moment so we're gonna make a little c
you like to bring the colour along my lash line a little bit so I have got like a proper little C and then because there's nothing left on my brush I like to like blend out the edges so then the next colour has a little bit of an easier time combining and then once I've kind of lost that deepness I can just go in with the areas where I need it to be that dark again once I've done in with that I take a Made by Mitchell brush. This is the M11 brush. And we're going to go in with the name I cannot pronounce. Which is this last one here. It's like a dark swampy. And we're just going to take it on that part. Which we've kind of like blended out. So it kind of like joins in between. And just like really extending this circle. See right. Something kind of like this. I like to just bring this bit out a little bit more though, I'm just gonna smooth it this way because I like mine a little bit more smoothed out, you can tell. So I'm just gonna bring it like that. That's the shape we're working with. Now we're gonna go in with a Never Made by Mitchell brush. This is the M10 brush. I love these brushes, they are like my favorite. And now we're gonna go in with Pine. It's just like a dark true green to me. I always think this is more like a true green, like a forest green. Um, so we're gonna move away from the swampy colors for a hot second. I'm going in and out to darkish forest green. So we're just gonna take this above. You can kind of see it hint through. Something like that. So we've got this like beautiful, like dark, circly C moment I'm obsessed we're gonna take a P. Louise brush this is the 164 brush and now we're gonna kind of do a mixture so the true forest green one we just went in was pine I'll put all names on the screen I can't read them and then we're gonna go into like this yellowy green and then this like lovely like faded pastel green and we're just going to kind of bounce between those and I'm taking it on a smaller brush just to start with just so I can have a little bit more control of this front bit and I can kind of like choose between the two colours of what needs a bit more intensity where because like you know I want the front bit to be a little bit more yellowy but I want this like middle bit to be more like green soft green once so I've kind of got the placement of where I like these colours, where they're a bit more in your face, we're going to go in with a proper fluffy brush. This is the Beauty Bay BB201 brush. And now we're going to kind of dance between this one here and this one over here, which is more like a, a more like a green white, which is really pretty. So we're just going to kind of go between them. Now this is where like everything starts to seamlessly blend together like this beautiful moment now because i always go really heavy handed i always like to go back down as you know so we are going to keep with this brush for a hot second and i'm going to go in with this light yellowy green the one we did before i'm just going to bring that here because i think that's faded quite a bit from the center part and we're going to take the same which again and go into that pine colour which was the dark forest green. I'm just going to run this right around the edge in like little tiny circle moments because that's definitely what we lost. And now I can go in with the previous brushes and just go down a little bit. And I'm just going to take a nice little fluffy brush and go in with the pine. And just like bring it out i forgot to do this on the other side when i found it out but yeah we're just gonna bring that bit out a little bit to get more of a winged out motion and then we're gonna go in with that slightly darker with that name i could not pronounce this one here take the littlest bit and top it off and we're just gonna bring that a little bit just like bitch there and brush it through like nothing more than that stunning okay now we're going to take the P. Louise paint in 0.5, the tiniest bit, and then we're going to take a Molly O'Brien brush in M011. I like a really thick brush when I'm not going to take off 
the previous colours. So then I can just do a lovely little semi circle crease vibe and just make sure you do like your front bit first because sometimes the previous colours can like blend in and you're just gonna tap this on pretty much into your desired shape. Once that's done, I like to go in with that P. Louise brush, the little one. And I like to go into the two light colours I use. So this like yellowy one and then this lovely like white green one. And I just love to run that just through the sides, just kind of give it something. Now I'm going to take this shimmer out. Now when I tell you I put this shimmer on and I gagged. <sighs> Stunning. So this is Ray, like this beautiful green shimmer stunning and because we know we're gonna be upset if we don't do it we're gonna take the nyx glitter glue mine's broken so don't judge her she comes out the side not the top yes i need to buy another one but you know if it still works it's fine it's not broken if it ain't broken don't fix it in my opinion so we're just gonna top her where I want it to be and then you see the corner of the line. Pretty use this and pack every time like oh my gosh it's so pretty like how could we how is VEB doing this like honestly it's so pretty it's so cheap and to be honest better than some people's formulas and because we're extra we're gonna take this little lip brush and we're gonna go in to lime just this like beautiful green gold now i went dark in that inner corner because you know what i want it to pop so we're gonna just bring that right there like stunning like what so pretty and then we're gonna put it let me swipe out i'm a sucker for green okay so i'm gonna go do my base like i said it's gonna be matte um we're gonna do a proper glam face so yes um yeah so i'm gonna go do my base off camera put some mascara on put some eyelashes on and i will be back so i'm back i just need to finish my under eyes but i've done my eyes and my eyelashes and my lips and i've gone in with the lashes from dramatic boutique i love 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 these lashes and these in the style PJ. I love these. This is so fluffy. Like, oh my god, I literally got them today, and I think I'm obsessed. So I think everyone sleeps on this color from Morphe because, like, I'm obsessed. But uh, this is the Morphe Crush lip liner, and I've gone in with P. Louise base in style can't resist and, and i've also gone in with the dramatic boutique glass this is the holographic peach glass it's stunning like so beautiful i love my lip combo um this is like a new frame i literally got this today as well um i have a code so i'll put the code on screen and i'll link everything down below what i've used from them um, so definitely use my code. I just can't, I guess you a discount. I get nothing from it, but yes, it's so nice. I love that brand. We're gonna go in back with the palette just so I can finish up this look. Um, so we're gonna go in with a small brush. We're gonna go in with the Made by Mitchell 11 brush. And we're gonna go in to that deepest color again, which was a seaweed. And if you know me, I literally just like to keep the darkest color literally on this little outer bit here just because it makes my eyes look massive and I love that for me. I think it probably gives me like baby doll eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with a slightly bigger brush which is the Made by Mitchell in 10. And we're gonna go and jump shade like I always do. So we're gonna go in with that darkish green, which is fine. And we're just gonna brush that along. These colors literally blend like a dream. Can we appreciate that? Like, they killed it with this palette. I'm literally in love. Then we're going to go in with the P. Louise brush. This is the 1 of 6 of 4 brush. And we're going to do that little moment, what I did before, where I kind of jumped from this, like, colour here to this one. And we just kind of did that. That's what we're doing. Because I kind of want it to be like a wash of colour here. I don't want it to be too much. So we're just going in very lightly. 
to bring it over and as i did before i take this little one and you guessed it we went in with lime which is that beautiful like goldy color and we're just gonna intense her because she faded a lot with the foundation and everything and i just want her to have her pride and joy at the moment and just live so I have mascara on, hair down as usual, and I'm all done and oh my god am I obsessed. I love a green palette and I'm so happy. Like this has all the greens I could ever need. Like oh my gosh, it's got like your swampy greens, it's got your brown like intenses for the greens, what work really well like these ones little skeptical on her but you know we're, cool. we're gonna try her it gives me my swampy greens it gives me my forest greens it gives me my like lovely like spacey greens if you know what i mean and i am obsessed i definitely 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 want to use this palette again i am obsessed beauty killed it what can i say like the eye look speaks for itself i'm obsessed shimmers high quality always matte blended like a dream and i can't ask for more so i hope they bring out more palettes i'm excited i don't know what they're going to do next but if it's going to be like this i will be buying it so 10 out of 10 for that palette i could not not a single complaint i love it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i see you guys next time um i am going to try and post on tuesday to thursday the way that goes to plan um but yes, everything I use, everything, all the main products that I've shown you will be linked down below. So the palette, the lashes, the glass, the lip combo, most likely, will be linked down below. If you have any questions, please leave them in the description. If you have any ideas for any other videos, that would be extremely grateful if you want to put them down below. If you want to see a palette I've already got, that would be also extra special because, you know, I don't want to spend any more money because I'm broke. Uh, but yes, I love you guys and I will hopefully see you guys next time. Bye!